Why did your guru, Paramahansa Yogananda, spend his life in the West? Well, he, sent it, he spent it here because this is what God wanted of him. It was his dharma. He didn't have any karma to work out, but he came on earth with a sense of mission, and his gurus had sent him here. Jesus, he told us, had appeared to Babaji in the Himalayas and said, what is happening to my religion? They are doing good work, but they've forgotten communion with God. The most essential part of his mission, he said, that love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. And he said, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. How many ministers quote these two passages in, in their Sunday sermons? Very few, if any. But this was his purpose. He was sent here. Jesus said, I will send someone to you for training to spread this teaching again in the West. In that sense, it is something he himself said, that this is the second coming of Christ, his mission to the West. In another sense, the second coming of Christ is when he comes to you inwardly. Jesus said he would appear on clouds and all the nations should see him. Well, if he's on a cloud over Los Angeles, he won't be seen in Fresno. He'll have to be on another cloud in Fresno and he won't be seen there in San Francisco. There'll be, have to be millions of Christs on millions of clouds appearing. And what about those countries like Arabia where they seldom have any clouds? It's not what he meant. Jesus appears in cloud-like luster in the light to those who love him. And he appears in the heart to those who love him. And so his second coming in the truest sense is when he comes to you. And saints in all ages have seen him. Yet he said when he was on earth, some will not die until this truth is fulfilled. And yet he died. Many died after him. It's been 2,000 years and more since his living. He hasn't come again on clouds, but many saints have seen him in all countries. So the inner coming is the important thing. But the teaching again, the re bringing back of this teaching is another very important aspect of his second coming. And Yogananda's mission was that. So that's why he settled in the West. It was what God wanted him to do. He didn't do it because he wanted to. He, as he said in his last uh, words on earth, when he, wrote, he read the poem, My India, and he said, I am hallowed, this body touched that sod. 